Hello friends, it's Lex at Lex Reads. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome for the first time if you're new. Um, today I'm sharing with you my Queer Lit Readathon TBR. So I have maybe, and by maybe I mean definitely, um, overcommitted in June. I'm participating in three readathons. But the Queer Lit Readathon was one of my most anticipated readathons for the year. This one and the like magical readathon Owls and Newts are my faves. So I'm excited to share with you the things that I plan on reading. Um, there's a bingo board. I'm going to scooch this way. I don't know if I'm still in frame. So you can see the board with all the prompts. And they said that, I mean, obviously we don't have to try and go for a blackout. I would like to black out the board, but in order to black out the board, we're doing some heavy double dipping. I think there's only like eight or nine books total, I think, I want to say. But there's, as you can see, a lot of squares. Um, <laughs> so let's just, let's just get into it. The first book on my TBR is Dress Coats for Small Towns by Courtney Stevens. Um, and this is a prompt fill for a few, let's see, this is, I have my, my thing over here. So this is for three. This is for backlist title, uh, queer friends, and bi or pan main character. I'm not entirely sure if it's actually stated that the main character is bi, but in every description, oh, something just happened in the bathroom. <laughs> And by something, I mean my sister, not something else. I don't know if she's named by. Like, I don't know if they say that. Or Pam. But I've heard it said that she likes both a guy and a girl. So we're gonna count it. The group read... Ooh. The group read is This Is What It Feels Like by Rebecca Barrow. This is the thing that I'm, like, the least committed to finishing. So we'll see if I actually end up reading it. But, yes. That's what everyone is reading, so. I actually don't know what it's about. I can't even, I can't even tell you. And one of the coolest categories, in my opinion, is just a lot of question marks. And they said that this is, it's a, it's a like, pick your own cat, like, pick your own prompt. And I want to read a book with a trans or non-binary main character. And, um, so I have chosen I Wish You All the Best by Mason. Dever, Dever, I should have looked up how to pronounce their name. This is an own voices author. They're non-binary, and the main character is non-binary, and I cannot wait. This is one of my, like, five-star predictions. Like, I think I'm gonna love it. Cannot wait to read it. This is about a main character who comes out as non-binary and then is kicked out of their house, and then they move to live in with their older sister. Sorry, I'm trying to do this from memory. I haven't read the description in, like, the summary in a minute. The blurb, the whatever it's called. I don't remember. What's the back of a book called? <laughs> summary? I think it is summary. I don't know. The plot, the thing that's supposed to sell me on the book. Um, but they move in with their older sister, go to a new school, become in a relationship with their friend. New friend at new school. Yes. Fire. One of the prompts is a female over 40 for this one. I'm going to try going to try to finish The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which you don't actually know this unless you're my friend on Goodreads, but I started it in March, got 12% of the way through, was not feeling it, and have not picked up since. So I'm going to try and finish it. And that's on a secret TBR that I have just put, kept every month. I have pushed the video back again because I can't finish this book. I don't like it. I should just probably be enough it. I'm going to try and finish it though. Next one is a book with summer vibes. I picked Bloom, which I think is a graphic novel, by... Oh, I gotta read the names because I don't remember them. Kevin Panetta and Savannah Ganucho? Ganucho? I have no idea what this graphic novel is about. I'm not even entirely sure if it's a graphic novel. I'm about 98% sure it's a graphic novel. But it was a recommendation on the Queer Lit Readathon Twitter. They've been giving, like four recommendations, or three recommendations, maybe three or four recommendations for, like, each prompt periodically, and this was one of the recommendations for Summer Vibes, and it looks... I like the color of the cover. I don't know, I didn't, I haven't even, like I said, I haven't even looked at what it's about. It's just in, it's sitting in my cart 
to, for ready for purchase for the readathon. But I figured a good way to get through some of these prompts would be if I did some graphic novels. So this next book I'm going to talk about is a fill for a few prompts, and I also am not 100% sure about what this book is about. I'm also fairly certain that this one is a graphic novel. And this one I'm about 99% sure is a graphic novel. But this is, I'm reading again, I'm so sorry, The Avant Garths by Carly Usen. And I'm using this for queer sports. It is a graphic novel. I'm using it for graphic novel. And host recommendation, which is how I found it, was on the Twitter page. This is another one that was on the Twitter page. So I think that's just those three, right? Yes, so that is a fill for three prompts. Gotta read it. The next prompt is poetry, and I was doing some research looking for a poetry book, poetry collection by a queer author, queer poet, and I came across one that sounds interesting, so I'm going to pick up, I'm reading this too, Black Queer Ho by Brittany Black Rose Cathin, Capri, sorry, I can't, I need new glasses I think, because I can't read very well, <laughs> um, Capri. It sounds fun. I read the like the description. I just like looked up queer poetry collections and this was one of the top results and I was like, sounds fun, let's do it. A little bit more diversity. Got a lot of white going on. For a non coming out book, I wanna read I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Oh, and that one's also a fill for rainbow cover. Cause it's not like a traditional just rainbow, but it's got a little bit of rainbow going on. So we're gonna count it. And then for Disabled main character. I want to read Far From You by, is it Tessa Sharp? Tess Sharp. Which is a, either a thriller or a mystery, actually. And, um, the protagonist has a chronic pain, chronic illness. Once again, I just looked up books with a disabled queer main character. And that one I actually already own. It's on my ebook, ebook shelf. I, I have the ebook. So, what better time to try and knock that one out, right? And then for nonfiction, I want to read When Brooklyn Was Queer, which is by Hugh Ryan. And it was it's about Brooklyn in the early 20th century and its history. I don't read very much nonfiction. So this is another one that I'm not 100% wholehearted, committed to reading. I'll probably pick up the ebook. And the last category is a five-star prediction. And for this one, I want to read Autobiography, which is by Christina Lauren. This book sounds really sweet and very much up my alley, up my street. It's very up my street. So I can't wait to pick that up. I've been meaning to pick it up for some months. It's been on a couple of my TBRs, and I just still haven't picked up. I just still haven't done it. Go down below and let me know if you're participating in the Queer Lit Readathon, and if you are, what what you plan on reading. Because I would love to chat with you about it. Also, go down below and let me know what you thought of any of these books, if you've already read them. Maybe lecture me about what some of them are about, because evidently I don't know what any of these books are about. I just kind of picked them. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I will see you later. Goodbye.